homes on HQ2 would strain an already tough housing market. We all know how hard it is to find affordable places to live here in Metro Denver, especially for seniors living on a fixed income. But a new development's taking a new approach that could be an example for other developers. Denver 7's Jacqueline Allen takes a 360 look at Sloan's Lake development. <laughs> It's one of Denver's fastest developing neighborhoods, Sloan's Lake. I remember when this area was just the hospital and the lake, and now it's definitely gotten a lot different. But many here worry different means, well, out with the old, in with the new. People just keep coming in to Denver. Let's take a 360 view of the changes at Sloan's. Since it went from St. Anthony's to Slow High, let's face it, not everyone can keep up as rents go up and up and up. Ten years ago when I, uh, First move here was $450, one bedroom. Now it's $865, and it's, they're not through yet. But that's not the whole story of this development. This hole in the ground will be a seven-story apartment complex, affordable housing for seniors and the disabled. Let's break it down. It's called Vita at Sloan's, 176 one-bedroom units for seniors and the disabled with commercial space on the ground floor. It's about a $64 million price tag for this building. The Denver Housing Authority is in charge of the project and says renters could start moving in as soon as next summer. The Housing Authority um, We'll open up a wait list at any given time and, and you know, we'll have thousands on it. We kind of had given up hope. Now, from Monica Armijo's point of view, Vita at Sloan's is hope. For two years, her mom has been trying to move to Denver from Longmont to be closer to her, but they can't find an affordable place. And then we're, we're sent on a wild goose chase thinking, oh, this is going to be it. And then we get there and they're like, no, the rent is 1000 or 2000 That's affordable, but it's not for seniors. And so I was excited about this project. Here, rent would be capped at 30% of renters' income. Getting to the heart of the issue, though, affordable housing only makes up 18% of all this new development at Sloan's, and demand is unlimited. But it's a start and an example to other developers that can be done. Jacqueline Allen, Denver 7.